good day students. My name is uh, Yusuf A.S. Uh, I shall be taking you in CC 111. In this study session, we are going to look at the accounting equation and its components. Accounting equations. Equations and its components. And its components. So now, what is accounting equations? Accounting equation can be defined as a relationship between assets and capitals, which is capital is otherwise known as owner's equity. This could be seen in the statement of financial position, which is otherwise known as a balance sheet. And uh, in this accounting equations, uh, the equation is said capital is equal to our asset. That will now take us to know what is an asset, so that before we now go deep into the equations. Uh, an asset can be defined as tangible or intangible resources that is owned by the business entity which is expected to generate the social economy's uh, benefit. Uh, this includes the lands, buildings, motor vehicles, plant and machinery, tools, office furnitures, office equipment, inventories, receivable cash in hand, and uh, cash at banks. So we look at the other side, which is the liability. A liability can be defined as an obligation to transfer assets or provide services to another entity that arise from such, from some past uh, uh, transaction or event. Otherwise, liability can also be defined as the future sacrifices of economic benefit to other the entities. This can be uh, this can be simply known as the the what the, the amount of uh, resources that is being owed to what the outsiders. The accounting equation can be defined, can be put in, in this format, which is capital is equal to what is what, what, what is equal to our asset. Then we can expatiate by saying that capital is equal to this asset can be divided into two. We have non current assets, then plus the current the current uh, assets. So we can have the non-current asset, then we can have a current, we have the current uh, asset. So, now, let's give a very uh, simple uh, illustration. Assuming we have a capital which is uh, 50,000, and our non-current asset is 30,000, then our current asset is uh, 20,000. Uh, At every point in time, this equation was balanced. We said our capital is just the amount they have used to start up a business. And if it is 50,000, that means you cannot do more than that 50,000. At a particular point in time, you said you have procured a non-current asset that was 30,000 area. Then we have also procured a non-current asset which is equal to what? Which is equal to 20,000 area. So this will give us a 50,000 uh, uh, 50, and the, the equation is the balance. Now if you look at this now, assuming the capital is not enough, you want to expand your business. In the case where you have to look for another source of money, probably in form of, probably from your friend, and uh, maybe you need like uh, additional thirty thousand, it shows that your capital plus the additional thirty thousand you are adding to this fifty thousand is what is referred to as a liability. What is referred to as what as a liability? So you now have capital plus liability. It's equal to what? It's equal to. Assuming now we have this one is fifty thousand, then this one is a thirty thousand. Maybe the non-current asset. Don't forget that we have given an example of non-current asset. We said non-current asset is land and building, motor vehicles, tools, and etc. Now this thirty thousand non-current assets will now be increased. Assuming it's increased to let's say fifty thousand, then this will also be uh, what? Will be what? Will be thirty thousand. Let me demonstrate it. Uh, in a better way, assuming we have the statement of financial position that look like this statement of financial positions as at 31st of December 2021. Then we have our capital. Let's go straight to where we started. We said our capital is 50,000. Then we said we are having non-current asset. 
non-current uh, asset. This non-current asset, assuming we have uh, plants, and our plant is a uh, twenty thousand naira, then we have uh, equipment, other equipment, and the equipment is a uh, ten thousand naira. You can see that this twenty thousand plus ten thousand will give us thirty thousand that we already originally got here, which will represent our non-current asset. What we are saying in essence is that our non-current asset in this question can be divided into two. We have plants, then we have what? We have uh, equipment. These are the tangible the resources uh, that will be used to generate full short uh, benefit, economic benefit to the organization. Now, if we have that, this one is having thirty thousand. Then we can have our current assets now. Our current asset, we have a lot of examples of uh, current assets. We have our inventories, then we have the uh, receivables, we have the cash in hand, we have a cash at a bank, and so on and so forth. You can refer back to the notes that we have, we have treated under the accounting equation in our earlier uh, lecture. Now, if you look at this now, under the current, uh, the current asset, as we have our inventory, and our inventory is a uh, 15,000, then we have the cash in hand to be equal to 5,000. Uh, now you can look at this. We started off with this name is 50,000, and that 50,000 we have used it to procure resources to the organization. Uh, and the resources are your plants, which is 20,000, equipment, which is 10,000. This will give us a 30,000 uh, as our non current uh, asset. You said, Otherwise, we have our uh, current asset. For the current asset, we have inventory, which is 15,000. Then we have the cash in hand, which is a 5,000. So at the end of the day, you can see that our equation will always balance to have 50,000 naira here. Then here will also be, what? Will also be 50,000 uh, naira. So you can see 20 plus 10, that's 30. Then 15 plus 5 is what? It's also 20. So 20 plus 30 will give us a 50,000 naira and the account balance. But what we are saying is that it's possible that the business wants to expand. The business is growing, and by the time the business is growing, you are only limited to the amount that you have contributed, which is capital, which is 50,000 naira. You need the additional source of fund. And that additional source of fund, I assume, is going to be uh, uh, you want to borrow money either from the banks or from a friend. And that amount of money that you are borrowing will refer to as our liability. And our liability will also be at this side, in the capital side. So we have to put our liability here. Liability. And our liability now is a 30,000. It shows that the addition here, the amount you have contributed, which is your own personal money, is 50,000. Then the money you have borrowed from a friend is a 30,000. So 50 plus 30,000 will represent our 80,000. In, in that case, that means this equations will now increase to 80,000. Now that shows that you are having excess money. You are having extra money of 30,000. That extra money may be used to procure additional plant. Instead of 20,000 here, you have added from the 30,000, you have added additional, let's say 20, or let's say 10,000 here. So it was 20 before. If you had 10,000 to it, it will what? It will be 30,000 naira. Now we 30,000. Let's bring it. So we have 30,000 naira. So it shows that we have 20,000 plus additional 10,000, making the uh, then also from the equipment, you also realize that the equipment is not enough. You decide to add maybe additional 10,000 to the equipment. So that means 10,000 from the excess money now, plus the 10,000 you are having there before, that will make this one to be, to be 20,000. Now, if you look at it, we are still having extra 10,000 left behind. So we can decide to put the 10,000 error in our inventory. And if you had 10,000, that's 15,000 plus 10,000, that will give us a 25,000. Uh, so we we'll add this one together, 30 plus 20, that's 50, then 50 plus the, this 30 will give us uh, 80,000 naira. So at every point, we have our accounting equations to what? To, to balance. So I will understand this concept of the accounting equations where we said that our capital will always be equal to asset, or where we also extend that our capital will be equal to non-current asset plus the current uh, asset. We have also said that this can also say that our capital 
plus liability will be equal to the non current uh, non current assets non current asset plus our current uh, asset that is the explanation there but we can briefly look at an exercise let's look at an exercise so that you can have more understandings of accounting equations let's look at it let's look at exercise as we will have this exercise and um, we have uh, assets we have the uh, liabilities then we have our what our capital as we are giving EA, our assets as we are giving 250,000 then our liability assuming is not known are you with me now then we have our capital assuming our capital is a uh, 140,000 uh, naira 140,000 then b i'm going to give you like three uh, exercises so that we can do it together so that we have better understanding of what we are doing then here we have assuming we have 25,000 and um, probably in the other liability uh, you have 12,000 maybe has to determine your capital and for C assuming you don't know your assets but you are giving liabilities and capital and your liability is just 22,000 and our capital our capital is a 80 the if you refer back to the formula that I gave you where we said that our capital this is the original formula our capital or or let's say now that our assets is equal to what capital plus uh, liability. I do want to I do want to split this our asset to non current asset and current asset because this question did not split split it into two. So what it just give us is that it give us the total of the asset and since they are in the same uh, side, so it doesn't change anything. Now we have in this question we we'll go back to our A. Our asset is given, we have seen the, the, the equation, is our asset is equal to capital plus our liability. And our assets from A is 250,000. Again, we have our capital is what? 140,000. Then we don't know our liabilities. So our liability remain uh, unknown. Our liability remain unknown. So what I'm going to do, if you still remember your simple the mathematics, is that this will cross to this side, and once a plus sign change to the other side, it will change to what to uh, uh, subtraction, which is minus. So we have two fifty thousand naira minus one hundred forty thousand naira will give us our what our liabilities. So if you look at the difference here, the difference will give us one hundred ten thousand. So it shows that our liabilities liability is equal to one hundred ten thousand. So we can easily come here. And share and say that and put it there that our is one hundred and ten uh, thousand. So we can circle it. So we are true with that. So we can move to B. We can move to B. If you move to B, we still repeat the same accounting equation where we said our asset. Now in this case, our asset is just twenty five thousand. Then our capital is not known. Then our liability is what? Our liability is uh, uh, 12,000. Uh, our liability is uh, 12,000. Uh, so the same thing still occur. We are interested in our capital. What we need to do is this one is a uh, is, uh, plus sign here. Our liability is 12,000. We'll bring it back here. So we're going to have 25,000 minus 12,000. So it shows that. By the time you do that, we are going to have uh, what? our capital. Therefore, our capital will be equal to 12 minus 25,000. That is going to give us 13,000. Uh, yeah. So we can easily come here and put that that is equal to uh, 13,000. Uh, yeah. So we circle it to show that it is uh, just calculated. So now, after this B, we go to C. We go to what to see. Uh, sorry, 
go to see. Don't forget, I've given you the formula before. Asset is equal to capital plus our liabilities. Now, if you look at the this one, now we don't know our assets. So our asset is unknown, but we have information for capital. Our capital is eighty thousand naira, and our liability is equal to twenty-two thousand. Yeah. So by the time you add this together, that will give us one hundred and two thousand naira. So it shows that our asset is equal to one hundred and two thousand. So with this, you there's uh, there's no problem with. I'm very sure that there's no problem with. Uh, uh, you should be expecting again under the accounting equation that you will not be able to work, you will not be able to answer. Thanks for your attention. We'll be seeing in our next uh, lecture.